My name's Kate James and I'm a proud Wadawurrung woman and visual artist currently living and working on Wurundjeri country. The title of this exhibition is Souvenirs and it's about um, how I've collected and other people have collected these calendar tea towels as souvenirs over the years. Embroidering the tea towels actually came about by accident. I had, um, I was on holidays and I'd purchased a Scotland uh, tea towel um, and also I'd purchased a punch needle that I'd been wanting for a, for a long time. So I didn't have anything to actually embroider so I used the Scotland tea towel and it was just automatic instinctual that I was embroidering Indigenous imagery over the top of Scotland. I made a, a mountain range into the Yu Yangs. I changed Scotland into stolen land. And then it got me thinking about Aboriginal tea towels and I started doing research on those and came across all the 70s and 80s um, tea towels that I use today. I do research the year of the tea towel um, to try and see what was happening at that time, either in Indigenous history or Australian history in general. I find pop culture references really made an impact on me at that time seem to end up on the tea towels. For example, in 1983, I was a big Boy George fan. So to change the narrative of the 1983 tea towel, I made this Indigenous man sitting on a rock into Boy George. And one of the song lyrics in the song in 1983 of Karma Chameleon is uh, every day is like survival. So I try and bring these ideas back and just to change the narrative of the tea towel um, and give it a new life. It's like reclaiming our culture, reclaiming these tea towels as mine and trying to get rid of the stereotypes. With the Black Lives Matter piece, that one's actually not about the year. So that was 1984. So that was in response to the 2020 Black Lives Matter movement and George Floyd's I can't breathe. And also in response to our own struggles with Australian Indigenous people and their incarceration. With 1978, that was the year that Space Invaders came out. So I've made Invaders Game Over, which is all the little ghost icons from Space Invaders, but with an Aboriginal shooter. Invaders Game Over is, is reversing the, the narrative and giving back First Nations people the power. Yas Queenie wasn't really about the year of 1980, it's more about uh, my great 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 grandmother Queen Mary of Ballarat. My immediate family uh, affectionately refer to her as Queenie instead of Queen Mary and so I've used the, the term Yas Queen and changed it into Yas Queenie, kind of giving her some power. She had a really difficult life and her struggles and what she went through, I'm eternally grateful for that because I wouldn't be here today. But I've also referred to the ballroom Vogue scene of Paris is burning with the disco ball, just as that, that's kind of an influence in my life. And, you know, that was a big influence in the 80s. But it is just about giving back her, her the power and a voice. The final work is the colonial virus. That was also in response to uh, 2020 and um, what we, we all went through um, or and still going through. So I kind of was thinking, you know, this is not our first pandemic as a First Nations people. We've, you know, the diseases that were brought to Australia as part of colonisation. Part of this piece is a baby with smallpox all over her and then viruses surrounding everyone on the work. I think it's really interesting to think that even today, Indigenous souvenirs are not actually always made by Indigenous people. There's a, there's a whole industry in Australia and overseas that make boomerangs and um, t-shirts and, and things like that and a lot of um, Aboriginal um, designs and uh, paintings are actually still being stolen to make these. Um, so I think it's really important to reflect back that, you know, we own our souvenirs, we own our memories, we own our tradition and our culture.